Hey everybody out there, welcome to Get Real with Patrick Creel. And I'm gonna tell you what I want this holiday season. So grab your iPads and your stylist, or if you're a caveman, grab your pencils and pads, you Neanderthals. And don't worry if it's been na naughty or nice. That's up to the NSA to decide. All right, Sony, Columbia, 20th Century Fox, Disney, I need you all to come together for the love of the money and to loan out Spider-Man and Wolverine, maybe a few of the other X-Men, to be a part of the Avengers. So that way we can give you all of our money. In fact, there won't be enough money. They'll have to print more money so that we can just keep giving it to you. And then you'll have to invest in a vault like Scrooge McDuck had on DuckTales. Here's what else I want. I want the new Star Wars films to be fun, unlike the last go-around. So we're going to need three different directors. J.J. Abrams is fine, Robert Rodriguez, and Matthew Vaughn. Thank you. Now, I'm also going to want a Deadpool, Loki, Bubba Fett, buddy film. Uh, think of Hangover meets Police Academy. What's that? Uh, Steve Gutenberg is a frickin' genius. He should have got the Oscar for those movies. And uh, I'm also going to want Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to turn it up a weed and notch, okay? It's getting a little, uh, you know, wishy-washy, if you will. Because currently, I'm sure locked. This is for all my Ghostbuster brethren out there. I'm going to need Ghostbusters 2 on Blu-ray. Special features will include deleted scenes and also behind-the-scenes featurettes. Sony Columbia, if you've got the money to put Basic Instinct 2 on Blu-ray, then I'm sure you have some money to put Ghostbusters 2 on Blu-ray, which did a lot better at the box office than Basic Instinct 2 did. Now, my final holiday wish is for everyone out there to learn to laugh at themselves, to not take themselves so seriously. You see, from my understanding, we sought independence from a bunch of uptight, wig-wearing a-holes. Fast forward to now, where we've become a bunch of uptight, wig-wearing a-holes. I believe that if we could actually take a step back, look at ourselves, realize that, you know, our crap actually does stink, maybe, just maybe, this world would be a little nicer place to live in. And if we could learn to actually embrace those flaws, and maybe even love those flaws, we can actually be better human beings to one another. And that's my holiday wish, besides having a chair that doesn't squeak. I love you all. Get real.